We're following the damage reported across the Gulf Coast as storms move across the area. We've received reports of damage in northern Mobile County. That's where we find WKRG News 5's Blake Brown. He's been up there this afternoon taking a look at that damage. Hey, Blake. Hey, good afternoon, Dan. Dan, I'm going to step out of the way right now and show you some of the damage here. It is quite extensive just south of Mount Vernon. You can see this mobile home here behind me destroyed. It's torn to pieces. There's lots of metal in the trees and several cars here on this particular uh, piece of property that have broken windows here, too. Now, this mobile home was blown off its cinder blocks, tossed several feet into the trees next door. Those living nearby this afternoon say they heard a loud train sound this afternoon. They ran for cover, and just a minute or so later, they saw all of the damage here on both sides of Highway 43. Again, this is all just south by a couple of miles of Mount Vernon. At least five homes here are destroyed. Several roofs are damaged. But luckily, we are hearing this afternoon there are no serious injuries. One resident I spoke to tells me this was a scary afternoon, and he's lucky he's okay. It was just like the, they said a freight train come through. Here we, we was kind of to the south of it, and we, we took cover in the bathroom. And, uh, Tough to see. Yeah, because see all this structures and everything on the ballpark gone. Oh, yeah. It's just it's, it's just sad. Of course, it is very, very sad. It will take a while before all of the damage here is cleaned up. You can see some uh, folks uh, here uh, just looking at the damage, looking at the mobile home, uh, trying to salvage what they can here this afternoon. One good thing I can tell you guys, crews are here. They are putting up new lines. They are hoping to have the power restored here this evening. Some of those lines are already up, but again, uh, power is still out through a lot of portions here in uh, just south of Mount Vernon here in Mobile County. We're going to send it over to Ed's blood. Uh, Ed, I know you've been tracking the storms this afternoon, and you have a better look at things now. Yeah, in fact, we're getting a much better idea of, of this storm as it moved through the Mount Vernon and uh, Movico areas. When we started to tighten up there, you can see those reds and greens that started to come together right over Highway 43, and then our tornado debris signature, it triggered. We don't see this too often, but we had a very well-defined uh, view of what appeared to be a tornado. So this is likely tornado damage uh, for, uh, that uh, did touch down. Now, good news. Things have quieted down quite a bit just in the last couple of hours. We're still dealing with some strong thunderstorms south of Bruton, north of Milton, and these are not severe, and they're continuing to work off to the east. Also got some rain near Crestview and some showers offshore. There is a tornado watch, but this watch has continued to be trimmed back. Baldwin, Mobile counties, you're in the clear, along with Monroe County and points west. We still have a uh, tornado watch in effect until the top of the hour for Conecuh, Escambia, Alabama, also all of our northwest Florida counties, but again, as we continue to move on through the course of the afternoon, those watches will continue to be trimmed back. Our high res predictor does show these isolated showers moving. Out. Everything is done at the very latest by 6 p.m. After that, winds turn out of the northwest. Much drier and much cooler air begins to roll back in. One person who's been on top of the weather all day is meteorologist Grant Skinner, live in the News 5 Weather Beast. And Grant, I know you've been following this storm when it actually began back in Mississippi. That's right, Ed. Yeah, I started tracking this storm in Loosedale. So uh, I was in downtown Loosedale. I could see the rotation in the storm that was just to the northeast of Loosedale. So I was trying to avoid that just because there was, a, again, a rotation possible and also some hail possible in that storm. That storm continued to strengthen as it made its way east, and that's where the tornado dropped here just south of Mount Vernon, uh, just north of Axis in northern Mobile County. Let's take a look outside. The weather beast. That's our front camera. You can see some damage in front of me uh, here in the weather beast. Here's our 360 camera on top. You can actually get a view on, of some damage that's again just right next to the weather beast. This is a home that's been here for several years. I talked with one man who said that it's been here for several years and now is uh, I mean completely destroyed. Also, more damage just to the right of that. Uh, some mobile home damage, some tree damage as well. Uh, one place with a part of a roof wrapped around a tree. And then across the street is where we have that mobile home that was overturned. I'm going to take a zoom in here and you're going to get a closer look at that. Again, it was a mobile home that was overturned uh, from this possible tornado. Again, this hasn't been confirmed yet, but there's that mobile home there. Uh, some trees down beside it as well. I actually talked with one man who said that he actually saw everything that happened with this mobile home.
No. Yeah, no, it lifted up and actually stood up just like this and then fell back down. I uh, saw a big dark cloud. It was coming uh, northeast, and um, I knew there was a tornado warning that came over the phone and all that. And uh, so I pulled over and put my parking brake on and just in a matter of seconds across the road. Now, the strength of this tornado hasn't been confirmed yet, but... Again, the National Weather Service will be coming out and doing surveys to assess the damage, and they'll have a report in the coming days. Reporting live from Mount Vernon, I'm meteorologist Grant Skinner for WKRG News 5.